Number seven has us graphing equations. You can see here we want to match each equation to its graph, and we have three equations and six graphs. All three equations are in intercept form. That's the form that we just looked at from 8.4, y equals a times x minus p times x minus q. Now the first thing I'd recommend that you do with this question is narrow it down. Look at the a value. In this first question, a is positive. So we know, since a is positive 2, that the graph's going to open up. That means I know it's not any of the graphs that are upside down. So it's not the purple one, it's not the black one, and it's not the green one. Now we've narrowed it down to 3. So the next step is going to be to find the x-intercepts. And to do that, you're just going to take each factor and set it equal to 0. x plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1 and we get negative 1. And then do the other factor and set it to 0. x minus 3 equals 0. If we add 3 on each side, we get x equals 3. So the x-intercepts need to be at negative 1 and positive 3. Now you can see this orange one has it backwards. That's at negative 3 and positive 1. So now we've already narrowed it down to 2. We know it has to be either this red one or this blue one. Well, now you could find the vertex, or you could also just think about what it's going to do to the graph. So remember when a is 2? If a is anything above 1, it gets narrower. If a is below 1, it gets wider. You can see here um, this graph appears to be a little bit narrower than this graph if you look at the pattern, but probably a better bet would just be to either find the y-intercept or find the vertex so you make sure that you get it correct. So it doesn't really matter which you do, to be honest. Either would work. Um, I'm just going to find the vertex. So remember, we have x equals p plus q divided by 2. Those are the p and the q right there. So we have negative 1 plus 3 divided by 2. That's 2 divided by 2, which is 1. That means the x-coordinate of the vertex has to be 1, which both of them have. Now find the y. So to plug that number into the equation, we have y equals 2 times 1 plus 1 times 1 minus 3. And you'll see that's 2 times 2 times negative 2. Now just multiply those three numbers together. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So that means our vertex should be at 1, negative 8. And you can see that that matches this blue graph right here. So for the first one, I'll call it equation A. That's going to match this graph right here. Now we have it narrowed down a little bit. We know the blue one is part A. So let's look at part B here. Notice right away we have a negative value for A. So that means it has to be upside down. That means we can eliminate this first one. The second one, it has to be one of them that's upside down, the purple, the black, or the green. Let's find the y-intercepts next, or excuse me, the x-intercepts, and we find those x-intercepts by setting each factor equal to zero. So x plus one equals zero, you'll subtract one and get x equal negative one, x minus three equals zero, add three, and we get x equal three. So the intercepts have to be at negative one and positive three. Now, of the three graphs that we have left here, this one has negative 1, positive 3. This one has them flipped, negative 3 and positive 1. That's not going to work. This one also has them flipped, so it must be this graph right here, the black one. Now we have one final equation left. You can see here a is 1 half, and when a is a half, that's a positive number, so we know the graph is going to open up. That means we can eliminate the two that open down, the purple and the green, and now we only have it between the red one and the orange one. Let's find the x-intercepts next. So x minus 1 equals 0, add 1, and we get the first x-intercept at x equal positive 1. x plus 3 equals 0, subtract your 3 on each side, and we get x equal negative 3. Now, of those two graphs, positive 1 and negative 3, that has to be this one here, the orange one. The red one has them backwards. That's negative 1, positive 3. So it must be this graph right here. 